this lesson, we are going to prepare a standard solution. Welcome to Science A Plus, and here is another episode of Science Experiments. Check out our channel and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. First of all, let's see what is a standard solution. A solution in which the concentration is very accurately known is called a standard solution. Let's learn more about the concentration of a solution. The definition of concentration is the amount of moles of solute contained in unit volume of a solution. Let's see concentration in a form of equation. Concentration is equal to moles over volume. The unit of concentration is moles per cubic decimeter. Concentration is used to express the composition of a homogeneous mixture or else a solution. So for the calculation of concentration, we need values of number of moles of the solute and the volume of the solution. So why do we need the composition of a solution to be accurate? Well, the accurate composition of a solution is necessary to get accurate results from laboratory experiments and for the preparation of industrial solutions. So this knowledge is going to be useful in a vast majority of fields. So let's make a standard solution. In this practical, we are going to prepare a solution of sodium chloride with a specified concentration. And the concentration of this solution is 1 mole per cubic decimeter. The volume of the solution is going to be 250 cubic centimeters. In our process, the first step is to calculate the weight of sodium chloride. Here we have shown the calculation. We will need 14.625 grams of sodium chloride to prepare this specific standard solution. After this calculation, we have to use a chemical balance to accurately measure the weight of sodium chloride. Here is a complete list of equipments that we need to carry out this experiment. We need volumetric flasks, wash bottle, watch glass, chemical balance, funnel and the chemical sodium chloride. Let's see the steps of preparation of the standard solution of sodium chloride. Here you can see we have measured the required amount of sodium chloride. We used a chemical balance to accurately measure this amount. Here we have a funnel, a wash bottle and a volumetric flask. This volumetric flask is marked as 250 milliliters. So this 250 milliliters is equivalent to 250 cubic centimeters. The first step is to remove the lid of the volumetric flask and then we put a clean funnel into the volumetric flask. Here we have sodium chloride in our watch glass. We use the wash bottle to wash out the sodium chloride into the funnel. Through the funnel it flows into the volumetric flask. Here you can see we are thoroughly washing the watch glass so that sodium chloride does not remain in the watch glass. The next step is to thoroughly wash the funnel so that sodium chloride in the funnel is washed into the volumetric flask. These steps ensure that all the weighed sodium chloride enters into the volumetric flask. Now we remove the funnel from the volumetric flask. Now the volumetric flask is filled roughly two-thirds of its volume. It is easy to mix the solution when the volumetric flask is partially filled. We shake the volumetric flask so that 
the sodium chloride solution mixes well. Now we remove the lid of the volumetric flask and put the funnel so that we can fill the solution with water until we reach the mark on the volumetric flask. When the water level reaches the mark of the volumetric flask, we need to be careful regarding the water meniscus. Here is the mark of the volumetric flask. When watching for the water meniscus, it should be at our eye level. Here we have to remember that the water meniscus has a curved shape. The lowest curved point of the water meniscus need to be aligned with the mark of the volumetric flask to get the volume precisely. This is essential when making a standard solution. To get the volume correctly, we add water drop by drop from the wash bottle. After this, we remove the funnel and close the volumetric flask with its lid. Then we use this technique to correctly mix the solution. Here we have to mix it 2-3 times. Keep in mind that we have to reduce the contact with the bulb of the volumetric flask as much as possible. So when mixing, we do it as quickly as possible and touch the bulb of the volumetric flask with our fingertips to minimize the contact. That is because heat from our palm can be transferred into the standard solution and this can lead to chemical reactions. So we have made the standard solution and the final step is to label it. The label should contain the name of the solution, the concentration, its volume and the date it is prepared. Let's revise what we need to consider when preparing a standard solution. Just like any other chemical experiment, we need clean instruments, so cleanliness is very important. And for accurate results, we need accurate amounts of solutes. So weighing the solute accurately is also important. When transferring substances, sticking is very common with chemicals. So washing well when transferring chemicals from watch glass to the funnel and then into the flask is also important. When mixing the solution, do not touch the bulb of the flask and use the correct technique for mixing, just like we showed in the video. For a standard solution, the volume need to be accurate. So carefully assessing the final volume is also important. Observing the volume mark of the flask should be done at eye level. And the standard solution need to be pure. So prevention of entry of impurities into the solution is also important. That brings us to the end of this video. Check out these suggested videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you wish to support us, check out our Patreon page. Thank you.